Hi, I'm Renee Tucci, and today we're going to learn how to make a bow. The bow that we're going to make today is that classic bow shape that has the center loop, the one that you see on those perfectly wrapped packages under the Christmas tree. Now, the ribbon that we're working with today is wired. That means there's a wire running on each side of the ribbon, and you can certainly make a bow with non-wired ribbon as well, but this will help you hold a really good shape on all of your loops. So let's start by creating the center loop. That will get us our foundation for the bow, and then we'll move to the side loops. So I take my ribbon, and I wind it around back to the starting point. Now that is the size of my center loop. You can adjust that as needed if you would like it to be bigger. If you want your finished bow to end up being a large bow, you will need a larger center loop. But our bow today is just going to be three loops on each side, so we can start with a smaller center loop. Now I am right-handed, so that means I'm going to hold the ribbon with my left hand. The right hand is gonna do all of the work, and the left hand will simply open and close to allow each new loop to come in. So I folded the ribbon around on itself, creating my center loop, and then I'm going to take my ribbon and do a half twist. That's going to create, number one, a pucker here on the side of the center loop, which is really lending to that classic bow shape. And it's also going to give us some structure in the center where I'm holding it. And each time we make a loop, we're going to do that half twist, building this center area, which will give us more uh, structure, like I said, um, to wire to when we're finished. So now we've got our center loop. Let's move to our side loops. So we take our ribbon, we run it out as long as we think we want our first loop to be, and then run, run it back to the center area. Now, as you go, you're gonna have to continually give yourself some slack from your bolt of ribbon, so do that as needed. Uh, once you're back to the center area, take your ribbon and do a half twist right in the center. And now these fingers on my left hand are just opening and closing and allowing more fabric to join in, but they're never really letting go of the center area. That's important, you have to hold that tightly. So now my ribbon is on the other side Additionally, I should mention that the half twist is very helpful when you're using a ribbon that has uh, two different sides. Often there's a decorative ribbon that has a really beautiful uh, face and then maybe the recessed pattern on the back that you don't really wanna show. As you move from side to side, by uh, twisting the ribbon, you will always keep that decorative side facing front. Okay, so we've got one side loop. Now we're gonna try to create a matching loop on the other side. So we're gonna run this about the same length as best we can as our first loop, and then back to the center area. Again, we'll give a twist. And now we're back to the right side. The, uh, here's our right side, here's our left side. We're back to our right side, and we're going to now do the same thing again, create our second set of loops. This is gonna be slightly longer than our first set, that's how you get that classic bow look. Uh, each layer of loops are slightly longer than our first layer. So adjust the ribbon as needed until you've gotten that slightly longer. Then give it a twist. Then we'll, again, we're on the other side. We're gonna come bring that slightly longer than our first loop and run it back to the center. Give it a twist. Give yourself some slack on the bolt, and your ribbon will twist for you on the bolt, so you'll have to undo that as well. So now we've got a center and two loops on each side. Let's take our ribbon and create a third loop. Again, slightly longer than our second and our first loops. Back to the center, twist, and repeat on the other side. Now, it doesn't matter if your ribbon gets a little off kilter as you go, because once you have the wire through, you'll be able to uh, shift and adjust all of your loops so they're right where you want them. So now we've got three loops on each side, and let's create our tail. 
So we're back to the center here. We'll do our half twist. There's a few different ways you can create your tail. Uh, I like to actually take a longer length of my ribbon and let me untangle it here. Okay, we take a longer length of our ribbon and we're gonna bring that back up into our center area and essentially create a large loop. And once we've gotten that in the area, this is a little bit longer than I want my streamer to be or my tails to be, which is fine because we can always cut extra off. But once I've got that up into the area, I'm going to twist and scrunch that in there. Now I'm going to cut it from the bolt and I'm going to cut it, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to cut it rather close to where I have gathered it, but not so close that I think it's going to fall out. At this point, I'll take my wire. This is a piece of 18 inch 20 gauge wire and I'm going to thread it through the center loop till I get about halfway. Then I'll fold each side of that wire down, being careful not to get caught up in our extra large center loop there and give a really good twist with the wire three or four times to make sure it's really on there. At this point, you can let go of the center and you'll have just your, uh, you can hold the, the wires there. Now we'll take our extra large loop in the center, find the midpoint of that, and we'll give a cut. And that's how you know you'll have even tails on each side of the ribbon. There you go. If you'd like, you could dovetail those by taking your ribbon and folding it in half, and then trim from the center down and we'll do that to both sides. And that gives a nice finished tail appearance. And then we'll go back and fix our loops and you can just yank them as you need to, to move them up and down, to uh, fluff each loop and put the wire right in place where it's needed. And there you have our beautiful classic bow.